1984 M1008, basically a Chevy K30. And so, here we go, 6.2 liter diesel engine, naturally aspirated, 24 volt start. Anyway, recent things, that is the fuel filter right there. Today, we're going to go over and change the upper oil lines, which are these two guys right there. As you can see, they are looking a mite grungy and leaky. So, we're just going to change those out and do the oil while we're at it. Cheers. All right, so we've got the drain plug, and I've cracked the uh, breather at the top. We've got our pan, got our new filter. No, I'm not a sh corporate shill, so I have no idea how decent or not that filter is, but we'll find out together. Anyway, so yeah, to be continued. Here we go. Oh yeah, deputy. Man, I hope this drain pan drains quick enough. Getting there. Yeah, it looks like it's keeping up. So far, so good. I can always jam the plug back in if I have to. Ha! <laughs> That's what he said. Yep, we're good. Just looking at the levels. Grab the camera. So she's coming out. Not overflowing. She's draining. So yeah. I'll plug that up in a minute after it, uh, it's fully empty. And then uh, get ready for those lines. Well probably get ready for that filter first and then you can see where the lines plug in right above it anyway hopefully I've got the right filter we'll find out back in a few the lines disconnected well still draining and that was the previous filter so we'll see uh, how the rest of this goes I gotta disconnect the lines up top and then I will uh, just pull them out this way. It looks like it's going to be the easiest. So sit tight. All right, next up is this uh, shenanigans right here. So those are the two oil lines there. It's like one of the transmission cooler lines. Skips the radiator and then cruises up to a uh, auxiliary filter or an auxiliary cooler up there which that's a whole other thing I got to deal with. But for right now, oil lines first. Anyway, so that's next. I'm going to get my side cutters on that zip tie, separate those out, and then uh, hit those joints with some croil. So, back in the GIF. Okay, so what you see here is some uh, hillbilly engineering. Um, nice chunk of cardboard down there to... Uh, Try to get any drips kind of channeled away and out. And then um, just another zip tie to kind of pull some of the, you know, the transmission cooling line and some of the other, like that black uh, cable is the uh, hood release. And then we've got coolant overflow, I think, or no, that's, actually that might be a breather for something, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, so that gives me better access to, uh, to uncoupling these two lines in there. 
soaking in some foil right now along the joint, so sit tight. All right, so there's one. Time for the second one. Okay, we got the old lines and the new lines. Just sticking them side by side to make sure that they match up and they do. Um, I'm going to take that bracket off and line these up correctly and then we'll uh, thread those back through uh, from once they came. So, and then, uh, you know, these ends will go on first, probably then those ends. Maybe the other way. I don't know yet. We'll see. Sit tight. Okay, so now there's the question of fitment. Because, see, you got that one in. That one's at a janky angle. There it is. And we're also way too close to the uh, manifold there. So I gotta switch that bracket around, which is right there. Sorry about the focus. And hopefully that will solve my problem. So, back in the GIF. Okay, welcome back. So, those are connected. And that is zip tied really well so it doesn't rub and chafe. And then uh, still need to do that bracket there. And I'm a little concerned with the uh, clearance. The clearance, clearance back here um, where the shift linkage is. That's not great. So I'm gonna have to play with the angles of those uh, those pipes and see if I can't uh, keep it off the manifold while also clearing the shift linkage. So I'll be back. <laughs> 